What is going on everybody? How is everybody doing today? And fantasy season is upon us. The NBA season starts in about two weeks. So we're going to be doing what we do pretty much every year. We're going to draft some fantasy basketball teams. I'm sure a lot of you guys play fantasy football. I love it. I may be addicted to it. I'm in six different leagues. I've been in six for like the last five years. My main league has gone since 2014. I also love fantasy baseball as well. I'm in a dynasty fantasy baseball league. I definitely recommend it. But yeah, we're going to be going into fantasy basketball, which I actually think is pretty underrated I think a lot of you guys should get into it because it is a cool alternative way to look at the NBA and kind of manage your own team. So we're here today on the Sleeper app. This is just easier to do some mock drafts. You could do mock drafts over on the ESPN uh, app as well. And I think Sleeper is actually an underrated fantasy app. This isn't sponsored. I like it for my fantasy football leagues as well. Like the, my main league for 10 years, we did the first basically eight years or nine years in ESPN. And now we've transitioned to Sleeper. So I do think it is worth it. We are going to randomize it one to 10 today for what draft pick we are going to get. So let's just pick a number and I guess we get three. Okay, that's actually not too bad. We're going to claim the third pick here. This is basically the roster spot. You get a point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, center. You get a guard and a forward as well, two utilities and a bunch of bench spots. And if you guys want to see more mock drafts or me draft my 2023 slash four fantasy basketball team, Let's see if we can get like 500 or so likes on this video and I'll know to post maybe another mock and my finalized fantasy basketball draft for you guys before the season starts. So yeah, there's basically two cheat codes when it comes to fantasy basketball at this current moment. And it's Nikola Jokic and Luka Doncic because these guys can do everything. Jokic is by far and away the best player because he's going to get you an insane amount of points, assists, and rebounds. He's knocking off all those categories. He's actually not too bad in the steals department. He does lack a little bit in blocks per game, but I think he's also fine in turnovers compared to some of these other guys, but he's always going to have the ball in his hand. So you're going to sacrifice the turnovers if you're going to get somebody that's going to be up there, top five in rebounds, assists from a center spot, and then also give you somebody that's going to be around top 10 in points or top 15 in points. And he's also has elite uh, percentages as well. If you look at it like field goal percentage, three point percentage, free throw percentage, he's insanely efficient at that so he's the clear 1.1 let's see if sleeper thinks so so with the number one pick it's actually Luka Doncic oh my goodness <laughs> so I guess that's one of the benefits of, of cool things about mock drafts is it's not predictable which is how your draft is going to be now personally I don't think Nicole Jokic should fall to three in any mock drafts or just any league drafts in general but hey I will take this 100% we're going to take Nicole Jokic with the third pick if it was Jokic and Luka the first two I probably would have went with Giannis still because Giannis is still so efficient he's become so much better of a playmaker as well and he's going to get you more assists per night also Tatum is interesting and Bede's interesting you got to worry about some injury concerns with Embiid but you know what he's really good uh Shago just Alexander is also somebody that I think could kind of rival Embiid and Tatum in fantasy as well I would be a little wary about KD um, Halliburton is going to be a stud, but I would probably take him in the back half of the first round. But yeah, this is a no-brainer pick for me. We are going Nikola Jokic. So then it ends up going Joel Embiid with the next pick. Uh, Jason Tatum, Shea Gilgis Alexander, and Halliburton there at 6 and 7. Curry at 8, KD at 9, Ant at 10. If AD stays healthy, that's a phenomenal pick at 2.1. Lillard on the Bucks, 2.2. Then D-Book, LeBron, Sabonis, Harden, and Towns. Now, Sabonis, really good at fantasy. You might be like, wow. Sabonis, yeah, he's really good. Wemby, I am staying away from. Um, just in the second round, that just seems a little bit high. You know that Trey Young and Lamelo Ball are going to get you an insane amount of assists, insane amount of three points made as well. I'm looking at Donovan Mitchell here. I know he's going to be up there in points per game. I think he's a dark horse to be the point per game leader this season. He's going to give you roughly around four to five rebounds and assists per night. He's going to get you over a steal a night. His efficiency can come and go though, which is something you maybe have to worry about, Donovan Mitchell. I really am eyeing him there, just as my shooting spot which could get thin if you look at it later in the draft but I like him there Kyrie is also interesting over there in Dallas and like Trey Young and LaMelo Ball I mentioned as well I am a fan of Trey Young in fantasy uh it depends all on his like field goal and three-point percentages how you think that they're going to map out but he's going to be an insane facilitator and you know he's scoring north of 24 points a night but I'm going to go with Donovan Mitchell like I said I think he could be one of the best scorers in the league he's going to knock down a lot of threes he's going to knock down a lot of free throws and yeah Wemby goes two or 3.2 like i said i would stay away from that siakam goes 3.1 and you know what i'm able to get trey young right here at 3.3 so he was somebody i was going to think about taking at 2.8 i get my backcourt of donovan mitchell and trey young now i do think i'll need to make it up um in the field goal percentage categories elsewhere because they could have 
relatively low field goal percentages, but I got Jokic, who's going to be somebody that's going to knock down a ton of threes, facilitate a ton, and also shoot the ball north of 50% um, at the center position, which is normal, but not for the amount of threes he takes tonight where he's going to be an efficient three-point shooter also. So I'm going to go Trey Young here. Um, I'm going to do great in the assist categories with Jokic and Trey. Um, like I said, I just don't, I'm not taking Wemba Nyama just because he could be on a minutes restriction at times. He could be on a games played restriction. So I think I would just look elsewhere. Maybe if he's there in the fourth or in the fifth and you kind of have some big man sleepers later to take. So you guys can see Jalen Brown, Jimmy Butler, Kyrie, Bam, Zion, Triple J, Bancaro at 3.10. I like that a lot. Uh, you got Bridges at 4.1. Brunson at 4-2, Kate at 4-3, then Marketing in the fourth is good value. Ja, also in the fourth good value, but you do have to uh, wait for him to come back because he's suspended for 25 games. Love Ingram there at 4-6, and then Paul George there at 4-7. So Kawhi Leonard, really good player, top 10 player in the league when he's healthy. I'm staying away from him in fantasy. Maybe if he's there at 5.3, I would think about it. Man, I like Garland a lot as well in fantasy because he's efficient. He's going to play. Um, he like He's been healthy pretty much. Uh, he's going to get you a good amount of assists, good amount of points. I'm, I just don't want him and Donald Mitchell, and I just want Trey Young. I do like Julius Randle. I, he drives me crazy on the floor sometimes, and the efficiency is a little off. But I'm kind of looking here. I think like Randle is going to at least give me a decent amount of assists, good amount of rebounds. He's going to also score a decent amount of night as well. I don't know if this is like his projection of 28 points. I would maybe stay away from that. I don't see him averaging 28 points per game. I think I could look at Julius Randle. I mean, uh, we could look like I thought Triple J would have been nice, but he ended up going a little bit ago. Um, we do have 45 seconds to pick, so I got to be smart. Evan Mobley, maybe at 5-3 we could look at. Oh, I love Zach Levine in fantasy. If I want to snag another center, but we do have Jokic. Damn, this is actually kind of tough. I, I don't like Kristaps too much. Don't love DeRozan. Kristaps will get you some blocks, which is nice. All right, I'm going to go Julius Randle here. I'm going to go Julius Randle. Field goal percentage, not the greatest. So I'm kind of uh, going off of what I said before, but I, Kawhi goes the next pick. Maybe should have taken Kawhi. Maybe I'm going to regret that because um, we know he's super efficient. Then it was Chris Stops, DeRozan, and Vooch. Damn, so Garland is still there. Oh, I just can't do the Garland Mitchell like stack right there. I, I don't know. I, I feel like it could come back and bite me. I don't want to take Chet here. Desmond Bain. I'm looking at Mobley, but Mobley's field goal percentage, man. You got to be smart with this. You got to be smart with this. Uh, I don't know. Maybe Mobley will just take less threes. I love Josh Giddy, man, in fantasy. I'm Maybe I'll go Giddy. I'm going to... Because Giddy's going to get the rebounds over Garland, which is going to help. And I, I don't know. The efficiency is a little scary at some points. We could go Jamal Murray as well, who's going to score a ton. Uh, he'll be able to facilitate, and he's efficient at times. Oh, man, now I'm really torn on who I want to go between Garland, Murray, or Giddy. But Mobley will help me with the blocks uh, and the steals categories as well. But I think I'm going to actually look into... I mean, if it's going to be between Garland and Murray, I should go Garland. So I'm going to do the stack. It's fantasy basketball. Garland is also one of the more efficient guards in the league, so I think I needed that, and that's why I went with him. Murray goes 5-4. Giddy goes 5-5. Five, five. Mobley went a few picks later. Zach Levine went at the end of the round. We just saw Jordan Poole go. Drew Holiday. Kuzma at 6-6. Six, six, I am not a fan of. Um, and then we see Maxi go there at 6-7. You see Bradley Beal, Scoot Henderson, Tower Hero, Jared Allen, Shangun, and OG. I actually like Bradley Beal's role as a point guard there in Phoenix. I think he could average a career high in assists. I think that's actually not too crazy of a take. And I think he's going to be efficient. I think he's going to buy in more on the defensive side of the ball, um, which should kind of result in maybe a little bit more steals or a tick up in that and we know he could be efficient at times as well so i'm actually gonna go bradley beal here gonna be one of my utility spots kind of going heavy in guard so i definitely am not taking a guard here in the seventh round as you can see it goes walker kessler and jared allen two guys i was thinking about just because of kessler's shop blocking ability so we could look at og and anobi or i could look at shangun as well who like Jokic, can give you an uptick of assist at the center position but i don't think he's gonna be forward eligible and usually i would have two center spots but for this mock it's only one Oh, that's tough. I do like Claxton's ability because he's going to be an insane shop blocker. I need forwards, though. My forwards are very weak. Um, Do I want to go OG and Anobi here? Like, what is this projection? OG and Anobi is not averaging 22 and a half points per game uh, this year. And OG can give me three positions, shooting guard, small forward, and power forward. So with the positional versatility... I like OG and Anobi here. I know it's an interesting pick, but with Fred Van Vliet in Houston, we could see his points per game uh, go up, and he could be the number two scorer behind Pascal Siakam this year. I think there's a good chance he does finish with more points per game than Scotty Barnes. So we saw guys like J-Dub go, Rozier, Brandon Miller. I was 
Wait, J Dub is listed as a point. Could be the number two score <laughs> behind these positional rankings. Okay, I do like Jabari Smith and Keegan Murray a lot. Franz Wagner, though, I love. I'm thinking Franz, but do I think Franz will be there on the way back? I do. Man, I really need a backup center because it gets thin. It gets thin. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go Franz. I want Franz. And I think I like Franz over Keegan, even though Keegan's going to get you those three-pointers. Uh, he's the next pick. Then it's Jabari Smith. Then it's Wiggins. God damn it. Those are the guys I wanted. Um, I'm looking at Jeremy Grant here. He's still going to have a larger role in Portland. Not a sexy uh, piece, though. Michael Porter sometimes can get injured, but he's going to be a good three-point shooter and knock you down some threes. But he's not going to give you really anything in the defensive categories or the passing categories at all. I need a backup center. Like I need to give me some insurance if Jokic does get hurt. And I don't love Capella. And maybe I should have went Kessler Allen. Maybe Aiden or Shangun instead of Ananobi. Mm. I mean, I could probably get Jalen Duran on the way back. And I like Jalen Duran a lot. I could take Time Lord, who is an okay fantasy player. You got Draymond. You got Nurkic. You got Pirtle. Oh, man. Pirtle's going to have a lot of run. Clint Capella. I'm going to do it just to get some insurance on Jokic. He's only playing if there's an injury. But I'm going to go Clint Capella with my next pick. Then it goes Russ. Wendell Carter, Jeremy Grant, Michael Porter, Nurkic, Keldon Johnson, Amen Thompson, Pirtle, Cam Johnson, Aaron Gordon, Vassell, Buddy Heald, there goes Draymond, and then Derek White. All right, I actually love this pick of Austin Reeves here. He's going to be able to do a little bit of everything, give me some rebounds, some assists. I actually think he will be the third highest scorer on that team behind LeBron and AD. I think he could also get a steal a night, and he's going to be efficient from downtown and from the line and get to the line as well, which is huge if you play in a free throws made rather than like a free throw percentage league. So yeah, then it goes basically Marcus Smart, Chris Paul, Valanciunas, and then Benedict Matherin. Okay, so we're here with our 11th round pick. I'm not really targeting any specific positions. If I were, it would be another forward. I'm really unsure about John Collins' role offensively with the Utah Jazz this year. Like, you know, Tobias Harris will be consistent. How is Christian Wood going to look as a sixth man? I just drafted another Waker. Do not draft Kevin Porter in any leagues. I would still stay away from Ben Simmons in the 11th round, maybe a little bit later. I mean, Jalen Duran, another big. He could play the four or the five. He'll be very efficient. I kind of like him, um, possibly. You got Gary Trent over there in Toronto. You got Josh Hart. Eh. Shaden Sharp's upside's nice. I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go Jalen Duran here. Might be a little biased pick, but I'm gonna up for Jalen Duran over John Collins because uh, I think he's gonna be clearing away the best big man there. Um, if you count Bojan as a wing, there goes Grady Dick in the 11th round. Ben Simmons went a couple picks later. Uh, there goes Miles Bridges, Colin Sexton, Asor Thompson goes, who's listed as a point guard, which is interesting. Bobby Portis goes, and I love Tyus Jones in fantasy this year. This guy could really average north of seven and a half assists per game for the Washington Wizards. They don't have good point guard depth, and he's actually a solid point guard. So I'm targeting him in late rounds. I'm very glad that I was able to get him there um, at 12.8. Do have a lot of guards, obviously, with Reeves and Tyus Jones, Bradley Beal, and then you have Garland, Trey Young, Donovan Mitchell. So I love Markel Fultz. I'm going to stay away a little bit. I like Bojan, but I just drafted a Piston and Jalen Duran, and I'm not high on that offense this year. So I may go and I wish Shaden Sharp was listed as small forward eligible. That would be nice. Bruce Brown, Kevin Herter, Kuminga. Do I think Kuminga has some upside this year? Rui Hashimura, Trey Jones, the brother of Tyus Jones. I'm going to go with Shaden Sharp. I'm going to take another guard. And then with my final picks, we're going to double it up on the forwards uh, categories there. So we have some elite guards with Trey Young, Darius Garland, Donovan Mitchell, Bradley Beal, Austin Reeves, Tyus Jones, and Shaden Sharp. Uh, time Lord at 13.7 is really good value. And then there goes Jeremy Shohan at 14.7. So I was thinking about Jonathan Kaminga in the previous round. Let's go Jonathan Kaminga here at 14.8. Bowl Bowl, I'm not too much of a fan, but hey, you're going to take a flyer in the 14th round. Emmanuel Quickly and Trey Murphy, though, in the 15th rounds, like for the CPU right there, those are two fantastic selections. I like to take a flyer on Keontae George, Dark Horse Rookie of the Year pick, but I don't know how he's going to opt for fantasy, and I don't want another guard. We could look at Bogey. I could look at Jaden McDaniels. Lou Dort, I'm going to stay away from because of the efficiency aspect. Taylor Hendricks as a rookie. I don't know his role. DeAndre Hunter, I don't hate if we're looking at another forward. I think I'm going to opt... <sighs> I like Denny, man. I do like Denny, but as scoring options, like, is he going to be behind Jordan Poole? Is he going to be behind Kispert, Kyle Kuzma, maybe even Tyus Jones? I do wonder if they're going to run the offense at all through him. 
Harrison Barnes could be a possibility. But I'm going to go with Jaden McDaniels out of uh, Minnesota. He could play the forward spots. He's going to give me probably close to a steal and block a night, and he's pretty efficient also. So this wraps out the mock draft. I hope you guys did enjoy. This is the final uh, kind of draft board, as you can see. My roster is Jokic, Donovan Mitchell, Trey Young, Randall, Garland, Beal, OG, Franz Wagner, Capella, Reeves, Duran. Ty Schoen, Shaden Sharp, Kuminga, and Jada McDaniels. If you were to look at my roster here, I don't think I would go with Capella as a utility slot. I would probably opt to look like at like Tyus Jones or Austin Reeves there into the first utility. You guys can let me know how I did in the comments below. Like I said in the beginning of the video, if you guys do enjoy these, feel free to drop a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you guys want to see more fantasy basketball content before the season starts. And that's going to be it for me. I love you guys and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.